Hey, good morning, saints of God. I'm Elder John Wright, and I'm here on this beautiful Thursday morning to do our daily home Bible reading for uh, Thursday the 22nd, 2022. And this one's entitled, Giving Thanks for the Faithful. We're coming out of the book of Second uh, Thessalonians, chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. And I like this title, Giving Thanks for the Faithful. It reminds me of those who have come before me, those in the church. I think of people like... Uh, Elder Billy Fox Pippen. I think of people like Mother McCrite. I think of those type of people that have come, gone before us. And we thank God for their faithfulness, how we can recall conversations uh, with them, how they trained us up, how they taught us to be faithful. I can hear Elder, uh, Elder Pippins right now talking to me. Elder John Wright, you just remain faithful and God will reward you for your faithfulness. And sure enough, for some of the things he told me, I laughed about, I laughed to myself, Elder Pippins, that'll never happen. But everything he said uh, came to pass. So I'm just reminded that we must maintain our level of faithfulness, that we must give thanks for those who came before us, those that were faithful, those that, that are at church every Sunday who you can count on. When you see them, they make you smile. And the Bible says that they in, in the uh, Old Testament, God was known as the what? The faithful God. So this is the characteristics that we should uh, 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 take on from God, that we should be faithful, faithful to our family, faithful to our spouses. Amen. We should give thanks to those who have been faithful in hard times when you know they were going through something, but yet they smiled, yet they uh, they, they mustered up the strength to smile and even and comfort you when they were going through. So we thank God for those people that maintain uh, that level of faithfulness. I sure give thanks to God for those that remain faithful. Hey, have a blessed day.